Hey, party people, and welcome back to MVM. I am at the Elk Creek Games booth, and of course, I'm covering one of the games I covered last year. We've covered for the channel, but it's almost here to backers, and that is Merchants of the Dark Road, and I'm with Mike. Tell us about this wonderful game. So yeah, with Merchants of the Dark Road, you are a traveling merchant, and you're trying to balance the uh, fortune that you're going to be making by selling items with the fame that you're going to have from delivering items to the different cities in the yeah. Dark Road. And you got an interesting little mechanic that goes yeah. on there, part little Tetris going on on the yeah, board. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, what are you doing with your dice? So with your dice, you're going to actually be picking a die to activate, and you have one of three sections. You can either make goods, you can get an illuminated die, which allows you to get more actions on your turn, or you can gain coins, or you can manipulate this market die, this market board. Rondell stuff going on in this game. Lots of Rondell stuff, lots of dice worker placement, and beautiful art yeah, by just... Andrew Bosley. Um, what you're seeing on the board right here is the Deluxe Plus Edition. Ooh. We do have these amazing uh, coins as well. Yeah, these coins are nuts, uh, man. Which are just these coins are through the roof sweet. nuts. Um, I don't think I could be any happier with the production value of this I, game. I think there's another level and you can step up your game, but this is fine. Well, we'll, we'll see. You know, we've got yeah. some stuff uh, stuff in the background that we're working on. So. No, thank you so much for yeah. your time. This is awesome. I, I'm really excited for you guys to get this game. I'm going to get this game as well. And with that part of people, this is Elf Creek Games, Merchants of the Dark Red. You can look for it very soon. See you. Welcome back to more Gen Con coverage. I'm here with Anthony, for the head of sales from the newly formed Pegasus Spiel North America. Now, before we jump into like kind of what we're talking about today, just really quick, this is big news for the industry, the fact that Pegasus Spiel is bringing up a North American department. For those who know what Pegasus Spiel is, you've probably had to pre-order their games from Germany or have them imported. So what does this mean for gamers that love your games and also gamers that have never heard of Pegasus Spiel? Great question and thank you, Ryan. So Pegasus Spiel is a very prestigious, very exciting publisher and distributor headquartered in Germany, uh, responsible for a lot of Euros that we all know and love. Uh, recently, we've seen Bonfire come through the market via Pegasus Spiel. Uh, games like Hansa Teutonica, uh, we're doing a Port Royal big box soon, so a lot of Euros that we know and have great familiarity with are things that you've been able to get through Pegasus Spiel. With us being as large and prominent as we are in Europe, we've finally decided that there's absolutely no reason why we can't do the same thing in North America, so that's what we're here to do. Awesome, and one of the games that you guys had, one of the, I would say, more uh, famous titles right now is Micro Macro, yeah. uh, which just won the Spiel de Jar this past year, which is fantastic. That means probably a reprint on the way, but it also means uh, Micro Macro Crime City 2 Full House. So what can you tell us about this? This is a game that's coming out kind of soon, right? Yeah, absolutely. So we're targeting Q4 for Micro Macro Crime City Full House. It is the follow-up to the original Micro Macro Crime City. Nice. Uh, it's it's much mouthful. of the same. We're moving it into a different part of Crime City, uh, to the south, I believe, of where the original takes place. And things are kind of picking up pace. We're seeing 16 new cases coming straight out of the box. Uh, we're able to build a lot on what the first one did great and do this even, I'm going to use the word greater. Uh, <laughs> so a lot of excitement there. There are some tie-ins, so if you are a fan of some of the, the plot lines in the original, then there may be some, some awesome. shout-outs to some yeah, of those. Yeah, little Easter eggs and things. Yeah. This is a cool game. I mean, like we said, it did win the Spiel de Jar last year. It's a great deduction game where you're, you're using this giant map. I mean, you can see this huge map and just, this is like a living city where you're kind of tracking different subjects and deducing different cases. It's super neat. If you haven't seen it, definitely do yourself a favor and check it out and look for uh, Crime City 2 coming out soon. And just anything that's coming out from Pegasus Spiel North America. We'll keep you guys posted on that story as we get more information. So Anthony, thank you so much for joining us today. Yeah, thanks for taking the time to talk to me. Hey, party people, we are almost done today at Gen Con, but I definitely wanted to bring this to you, definitely because it's a solo mode game, it's a cooperative game, and we have Vagrant Song here by Weird Games Miniatures? Weird Miniatures or Weird Games, we go by either or. And I have Kyle here, and uh, he's gonna be talking about the game, man. Tell us about it. I, like, we found out about this last minute. So this is a fully cooperative game. You play as uh, one of six vagrants okay. uh, who hop on the Silver Ferryman. Silver Ferryman happens to be haunted by ghosts, and you are trying to save them uh, as you're also trying to save yourself. Mm -hmm. 
Um, so yeah, that's really the basics, okay. but it is a campaign game, so there are 23 scenarios in the game, and you're going to be moving forward through the game trying to escape. So it's, is it a boss battler game? Or like, yes. Or does it have other elements of anything else, or are you just playing bosses? So it is a boss battler. You are going to be facing off generally one haint at a time. Okay. Um, and, but it is also a campaign game, and there's uh, inspirations from, you know, dungeon crawlers and other sorts, like Mansions of Madness. There's a little bit of, uh, of other aspects of other so games So what's in here going well. on on these cycle things? That, like, you said something about converting them back to humans or things like that. Do they do anything? Like, what, what are you trying to do with these people? You're trying to save them. So yeah. the, the Haint has humanity, or doesn't have humanity, and you're trying to give it back to them. Vagrants also have humanity, and if they lose their humanity, they turn into Haints themselves, and they oh, go wow. westbound. Oh, wow. And it creates another goal in the game that you have to uh, essentially try to get your own humanity back. Yeah. If, the, if you don't before the scenario ends, you're going to lose one of your skills forever. So what's a, like a, just a common turn look like real quick? We can just kind of get a, you know, fake, you know, fake a turn real quick. So you got these little chips. Right. So you're... every Vagrant has three coins that they can use to uh, place on their actions or skill cards. Yeah. Think of these as kind of action points, but really they're they're modifiers because you can place them on okay. uh, three onto one skill, for example, and make that skill more powerful. Okay. So, for a really basic one, we have the bust action here. Bust. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to place all three on bust. Ooh, that means you're going to chuck I'm, some I'm, dice. I'm huh? going all in. There so let's just for the sake of this, you have to be adjacent to the haint to yeah, perform okay. bust. Um, so I have a, a success value of four or above. Okay. So for each coin that I put in, I'm going to be rolling a, uh, yeah. a, a bone. Um, and then hopefully I succeed. Whoa! Three successes. Whoa! And, and then he's going to gain three humanity. Okay. And that's, that's the most basic of the attack actions because yeah. each vagrant has their own skills that they can perform as well. But yeah. that shows you... Kind of the the general aspect of how dice are rolled. Building stuff going on. We, 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 I don't want to get into. We could talk about this game here. You got a lot of stuff in here. You're super passionate about it. So oh, I think people yeah. get a gist of this. Where can they find out how to get this? Because this is like, it was here at the con and it's gone already. So yes. Where can so you find out? Where do you get it? Or we're do doing a pre-release here, um, and it will be released later to local game stores uh, this fall. We're looking at late October, mid November. Okay. And if you scoop it up at your local game store before the end of January, send in uh, proof of the purchase to us on our website, and you can get a bonus scenario for free. Sweet. All right, party people, you take care. We're done for the day. I'll see you tomorrow on MVM. Thanks for watching.